Hey, this is Matthias Ringer with Guitar Control, and today you're gonna be learning this really cool song by Benny Blanco, Halsey, and Khaled called Eastside. Uh, it's a really, really cool song. It has a really, really nice arpeggio, and um, I think it's going to help you a lot to expand your arpeggios and third cap capabilities. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to play this with simple chords in an acoustic guitar. So stay for it and. Um, there's a link in the description, click on it, tap on it, you're going to get the tab. Make sure you download it because it's going to be very, very helpful to follow along this video. So anyway, let's get down to it. The first chord that we're going to be checking out, uh, the first thing that we're going to be checking out is going to be the chords. So for the chords, we have a F sharp minor. And don't worry because I'm going to get into the specific of each chord so you can know how to play each one of them, okay? But right now we're just doing like the outline. We have the F sharp minor. E major, A major, D major, and E major. And that's that's super simple. Of course, you know, when you say F sharp minor, people are like, ah, oh, I don't wanna, it's so hard to play when you're just starting out. But, but don't worry, this time we're going to make a very, very easy version. And it sounds really cool, actually. But uh, back to the, down to the arpeggio, that, that is like the actual thing that happens in the recording. This is actually a, a song that is using th uh, thirds. So, so a third is an interval, and um, it's a uh, when you when you see about when you talk about intervals, is the distance between two notes, right? So a third is usually actually is very easy, but it's three notes. Um, the difference the, the difference between the notes are three. So for example, if you say what's the third of a C, the third of a C is C D E. So E is a third of a C. So if you were to say, okay, I want you to play a third on C, you would be like, well, this is C. Well, that's the third, you know, the E. So if I play a third, I play the C and the, and the E together, you're playing a third. Even if you grab this E and you put it on the next octave, okay, like higher, that's a third. But now check this out. If the note is, um, if you notice two full steps or, or in four half steps above the other note, which which means one, two, three, four frets from the note, that means that it is a major third. If it is three frets above, that's a minor third, right? So for example, this E is four frets, right? So one, two, three, four. And uh, so that's important to know because we have right here a major third and a minor third. This is the same as this. I'm just putting it on the next octave, of course. So that's what this song is doing right now. It's playing third. So what we're doing, we're going into, the way that you're going to, to learn this is by learning the shapes of the of the thirds minor and major using the fifth and second string okay that's how you're going to learn it so you have to pay attention you have to be aware of the progression of the chords that are happening and of the of the index finger on the fifth string so you're going to have the index finger to start with you're going to have it on the ninth fret okay now the easy thing about this, if you have a guitar like mine, you have dots. So check this out. It's so easy because this song goes on the ninth fret that has a dot. The, the, the ninth fret is the, the single dot before the double dot, right? Because on the 12th fret we have two dots. So we go on the ninth fret, then we go on the next dot below, which is the seventh fret. And then we go on the double dots. And then we go on the fifth fret right here, which is um, the second dot starting from here. But a very easy way to see it is that, okay, well, I am using this, this, this. They're all next to each other. It's like you are doing, well, I'm going from this dot on the ninth to the next dot on the seven. And instead of going to this one, which would be the obvious, I go first to this one and then I go to this one. So there you go. And then you repeat this once again, this one, the next dot and start again. So. Having that in mind, check this out. If you, we're gonna use the second string now as well. If you put a finger on the, on the second string, a fret above your index finger, a fret, okay? So this will be on the same fret. If you put it a fret above, it will be this one. That's going to be a minor third, okay? 
if you put it two frets like here that's going to be a major third but an easy way to play it of course like this so check this out we're going to do minor third thinking remember keeping this in mind right look at the dots you're going to do minor third major third major third major third major third major third minor third so in conclusion we only have one minor third which is the the shape that in which the finger is on the second string but a fret above we only have one which is the first one the rest are all major see it's going to be very easy if you pay attention to the actual uh index so yeah super simple see very very easy now that's the entire song actually you could just play it like that with the ton river of course but anyway so now if you find it a little bit boring because maybe like if you're like just hanging out hanging out with friends and you want to play this this might get a little bit like empty right if there's no like you don't have reverb you don't have band nothing yet right so what you want to do you want to play actually the chorus So for the chords, check it out. We're going to start with a, with some sort of F sharp minor. Usually it will be like this, but we're gonna make it easy now. So we're going to play it like this. You're gonna have your index. You can play this with any finger you want, okay? But I'm gonna show you the way that I like to do it. But you can play it with any finger that it's easier for you. But uh, you're gonna have your middle finger on the second fret of the sixth string, ring finger on the um, second fret of the fourth, and pinky on the second fret of the third and the rest are open then you're gonna go into an E major so for that check this out for that you're gonna keep the ring finger where it is and you're gonna bring the middle finger into the fifth string second fret and you're gonna bring down you're gonna remove the pinky and bring the index finger into the first fret of the third string right after that we're gonna go into the A major for that you have all the fingers on the second fret of the fourth third and second string and then into D major for this one you have index on the second of the third ring on the third of the second and middle on the second of the first right so then you play this again back to the E major and that's it so of course, since this is not the original, there are many ways that you can play the rhythm, but... That's the way that I like to play it. So it goes down, 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 up, up, down. Okay, down, up, up, down. And then you change chords and you play down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Okay, so down. So down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 down. And that's it. It's super, super simple song. Really cool to play. Awesome chords. You don't have to play any complicated shape. Really cool to play at any meeting, uh, hangout, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Go check out the song Eastside, Benny Blanco, Halsey, and Khaled. And um, give it a try. Now you know the, the thirds, major, minor, explore them. And yeah, don't forget to click on the link in the description to get the tab. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have incredible videos uh, being uploaded every day. But anyways, I would love to know what would you like me to teach you next? Leave a comment down below with your answer. Thank you so much for watching.